Welcome back to a special episode from my Harry Potter kitchen, the YouTube series where I'm baking my way through the Harry Potter books, making recipes for all of the food and drink we found inside. If you remember back when we did a recap for episode 10, I challenged you to see if we could get to 3,000 subscribers before episode 20. Well, this week we served up episode 20 and we've hit 3,000 subscribers and then some. So thank you so much everyone for your continued support. It really does mean a lot and it keeps me so excited to continue sharing new recipes for you. If you don't want to miss any of those new recipes, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell, and then you'll get an alert every Magic Monday when there's a brand new recipe for you to tuck into. If you've missed any along the way so far, I thought we'd put together another recap video so you can catch up before episode 21. Here's what you missed. In episode 11, we served up some pumpkin soup for Harry to enjoy while he was locked in his room. This one was packed full of vegetables as part of your five a day. Pumpkin, butternut squash, carrots, peppers, and more. If you need a little pick-me-up to remind you of home, then this one is for you. In episode 12, we made our own Harry Potter bubble tea inspired by the famous Asian drink. And you can now even get bubble tea at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. The original bubble tea is made from tapioca pearls and tea, but if you're not a fan of either of those, we also served up four Hogwarts house inspired versions made from juice. In episode 13, we served up our own twist on the classic potato smiley, this time potato gnomes that the boys were trying to get out of the garden. These are super easy to make, a great one to do with kids, and you can freeze them to take them out whenever you need a little fix of carbs. Have a go at creating these and let me know which gnome face you'll go for. In episode 14, we served up another breakfast recipe, this time porridge with a twist. We transformed the classic porridge into a butterbeer porridge that was transformed into a butterbeer mug. This one included a recipe for butterscotch sauce, which you can also use as the base for butterbeer. In episode 15, we made some more marmalade. And even though we created this last year, I wanted to take things to the next level by creating four different marmalades that are a bit unconventional, but inspired by our Hogwarts houses nonetheless. 
Hufflepuffs had lemon marmalade, the Slytherins had lime marmalade, Ravenclaw enjoyed some beetroot marmalade, and Gryffindor had pomegranate. Let me know which one of these sounds best for you. Episode 16 was another episode inspired by our Hogwarts houses, this time for butter. We made four butter varieties from scratch, showing you how to turn cream into butter. Ravenclaw had caramelised red onion butter. Slytherin enjoyed garlic butter. Gryffindor had piri sun-dried tomato butter. And Hufflepuff enjoyed a honey mustard variety. Again, let me know which one was your favourite. In episode 17, the boys were practising Quidditch with apples. So we made candy apples and transformed them into Quidditch balls. The Quaffle, Bludger and Golden Snitch have never tasted so sweet. For episode 18, we were serving bacon sandwiches. And this time I showed you how to make bacon from scratch. We transformed some pork belly into the famous breakfast item. It took two weeks to transform our pork belly into the famous breakfast item. So we had to stack it high and enjoy it between two slices of lightning bolt bread. It might've taken a while, but it was worth it. In episode 19, we had cabbage. So I decided to do something unconventional and serve up a chocolate and red cabbage cake. This one was transformed into the Hogwarts grounds, complete with some fondant cabbages, and of course, the famous Whomping Willow. This one looked amazing, so hopefully no one drives a car into it. And finally, this week for episode 20, we had strawberry and peanut butter ice cream, which we served up peanut butter jelly style. Two layers of vanilla ice cream, strawberry jam, and peanut butter ice cream helped us transform one of America's most popular lunches into a sweet dessert.
That is 20 episodes in the bag and plenty more to come. So make sure you subscribe to my Harry Potter kitchen by hitting that button and clicking on the notification bell. Then you'll get an alert and you won't miss a single recipe. If you did miss any from the recap, the full playlist will be down below in the description for you to catch up. So make sure you do that as your homework over the weekend before Monday and I'll see you for episode 21. <laughs>